This is my tutorial for a vintage buffalo plaid snowflake tumbler. I have already sanded and prepped my tumbler with an 80 grit sanding block and spray painted it a white spray, a white spray paint. I spray painted it white using white spray paint. Now I'm ready to apply my red buffalo plaid foils from Southern Belle Glitter. If you don't have the foils, you can also use vinyl, whatever you have on hand. If you have some spots in your foil where the foil didn't really catch to the tumbler, it's fine. By the time we're finished, you won't even notice. Seal your foil with a clear sealer. I use Quick Coat from CCDIY. We just don't want our epoxy to repel on our foil. Now we're gonna seal it with some epoxy and add some extra sparkle because we need extra sparkle. Okay, so just do it, do it. <laughs> this design is definitely a shot in the dark for me. Well, it was a shot in the dark. I wanted to change the direction of this design oh, you guys so many times while i was making it i just was like looking at it and thinking this isn't going to look right i actually did not even like this design until i was almost finished with it and i mean sometimes your design can be looking a whole tub of hot mess but keep at it and finish the vision because y'all this tumbler was about to go into the trash so many times but it ended up turning out so pretty so don't be afraid to press on. If you mess up, it's just a cup. Cover it up with some foils and a decal and call it a day. I decided to use snowflakes for my buffalo plaid design, but you can also do like a deer head. I think deer heads would be super cute. That would be super cute, you know? You know, I may have to, hmm, I may have to try that later. <laughs> When you're all done, spray paint your tumbler black. I'm using Color Shots spray paint in blackout, but any black spray paint will do. When your tumbler is dry, we'll be ready to add our Betty foil dust. And did y'all grab some when you saw my hint a few days ago on my Facebook page? If not, grab some. I am loving this foil dust and I bought all the colors. So you'll be seeing more of this dust soon.
just like we did with our foil fall leaf design, we're going to add some foils, but adding more foils to give it a more vintagey gold look. When you're all done, don't forget to pull your stencils. Normally, I add hot glue to my stencils in order to find them underneath the glitter, but you can see the outlines just fine under the dust and foils. Now, if you do decide to glitter your tumbler, you'll definitely want to add some type of glue or whatever you like to find them under the glitter later. I sealed my foil again with quick coat just to make sure my epoxy doesn't repel. You can also use a clear sealer. Then I sealed with a coat of epoxy. Now for this coat, I felt it needed some shimmer. Well, at this point, I didn't know if I was gonna keep this design or not, but I was like, maybe some extra glitter will help. So I added high roller from PDB, not realizing it was discontinued y'all but all you need is a silver and gold glitter. I'm showing you how to make a quick custom mix using Snowfall and Midas from PDB to get a similar look. If you don't have any of these, any multi-size mix of gold and silver will work, or you can go without, but who wants to not have extra shimmer on their tumbler, okay? Do it, do it. Now that my tumbler is all cured, I'm ready to add my snowflake outlines. Now, I personally decided to not outline every single snowflake, but you can do whatever you like. It was at this point where I was like, okay, okay, I'm liking it, I'm liking it. <laughs> at this point now we are ready to seal with another coat of epoxy and I'm going to add, you know, just a teeny bit touch of extra sparkle. I'm using Hudson foil dust, also from Southern Belle Glitter and adding it right into my epoxy and placing on my tumbler. I let my tumbler cure, then I was ready to add my decal, and it was literally at this point when I really started to love this design. Okay, so I actually, I liked it after the snowflake outline, but yeah, after the extra glitter and the outline, and then with this decal that I'm about to add, yeah, I started to love it. I love it. 
Love it. This design was touch and go for a long minute there. <laughs> for the bottom, the tumblers come with this, this like little squishy black circle thingy that you can stick on the bottom, but we're, we're extra around here, right? We're extra. So we're going to be decorating the bottom. I'm pretty much going to do the same exact techniques we use for the tumbler itself. I'll just be using UV resin instead of epoxy and setting it outside for a minute or for a few minutes to cure. I'll also be adding my signature as well. I sealed my tumbler till it was nice and smooth and then I was all done. What do you guys think? It's giving me high-end vintage Christmas and I am loving it. I wasn't at first, but it's definitely growing on me or it has grown on me. I mean, it's it's attached itself to my body. I love it so much. This design would also look amazing with white and black buffalo check with some navy and silver. Yes. <laughs> That's it guys. Thank you so much for watching my tutorial. A huge thank you to all of my mentorship and channel members. Your support is literally all the things. Have fun making your own vintage buffalo plaid snowflake tumblers and I'll see you again next time. Bye!